Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. So you know, I came back to YouTube recently and I told you guys, I think I told you guys, that I would have a chore video in the near future at the new house. If you didn't watch that video, we moved. So that's what we're doing. Um, it's going to be like a week or so of just random plant chores that I'm doing, trying to get everyone adjusted and acclimated to their new home. So I think we're going to start off by repotting. I'm going to repot my El Chaco Red. Let's just get right into it, y'all. Here we are in my laundry slash plant room. So we have several things that need repotted. I'm going to mix up my soil. It's partially mixed, but I need a little bit more. And I'm going to sit down, bring you guys down, and we're going to repot. This is my El Chaco Red. Isn't she lovely? I absolutely adore this plant. But if you can tell, I don't know if you will be able to or not, her pot is only about halfway full. There are Lekka beads in there, and her pot is entirely too small. So I'm thinking I'm going to move her into this little heart planter, which I've just been using as a cover pot because she's a little top heavy. Let's get into it, y'all. So here's my little soil bin. It already has some soil in it. Um, we have a lot of coconut husk chips in here. My only issue is I'm out of perlite. The only perlite I have is what is already in here and what's in this soil mix, which I'm just noticing. There's some mold in here, like furry, furry mold. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. This is a brand new bag of Fox Farms. Well, I shouldn't say brand new. A giant bag. I've had it for a couple of months, but it's still practically full. And I've had it closed up, so I don't know how it got mold in it, but it did. Should I show you guys? Do you want to see it? It's pretty foul. Like, it's hair. It's, it's hairy. Oh, my gosh. I've never had that happen before in a bag of soil. Y'all, I typically do not have an issue. Like, I never wear gloves is what I'm trying to say. I usually don't have an issue handling soil with my bare hands, but this is really disgusting. Ew. Tell me that's not gross. Ugh. It's some type of freaky hairy mold, I'm assuming. I got to get that out of there. Okay, I just wanted to show you really quick because, mm. and then here's my soil bin. Um, I was going to say, because I am out of perlite, I'm going to go a little heavy handed on the coconut chips because that's the only thing I really have right now for drainage. I know this just comes with it. With gardening, you're going to have weird, funky stuff. You're going to have bugs, disgusting hairy mold, apparently. Um, but it doesn't make it any less disgusting, okay? I'm gonna take my shovel and I'm gonna scoop out and put in this bag this hairy mold. I'm gonna try. I don't know if it got moist or what. It's only on the top layer, I think, so. Ugh. And I'm gonna clean this off really quick, just because. Okay. Okay. Back to it. Let's mix this, mix this up and we'll get busy. I don't think I need this shovel right now. Let's try this again. These are the coconut chips I use. Ready chip. Right here. Put this off Amazon. You guys can't even see, can you? Maybe. Um, one more scoop of this. So I have this Wealth in Sansevieria, you guys, that I got for I think like $5.99 at Home Depot. And it's packed full of Wealth Ins, if you can't tell. The pot is actually bent and squished because it's just roots in this pot. The soil is gone pretty much, so it's not getting hydrated when I water. It has roots coming out the bottom. It desperately needs to come out of here. I'm seeing some wrinkling in some of the bends, so, and it just keeps pushing out more and more pups, which is incredible, amazing. 
but um yeah it needs to come out of here so i think i'm going to do this first and the only thing that i really have for this right now because it is so tall like i have larger plastic planters i would prefer to use however they're not quite this deep so i think this will work we're gonna find out um so i think i'm gonna do this first i'm just realizing i need something to put my old soil in Now I have a larger well fin that's like huge that I got for $30 at a uh, plant shop. And, but whenever I've seen these, oh look at those roots, for literally like five bucks. Are you kidding me? There's no way I was gonna leave this here and it was packed full when I got it. Oh yeah. It's got lots of nice roots, pups coming up everywhere. Beautiful. Now this one, is yellowing down at the base i'm noticing hopefully it'll be all right that's the one that's wrinkling the other ones actually look kind of fine the pups look great I just don't have a lot of room there's two more pups coming up right here it's kind of massaging the roots a little bit the root ball isn't quite as long as i thought it would be I think that's a good fit, actually. I hope. Will that give them enough room? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about Wellspin and Terracotta, but I just think they look so nice in a good Terracotta pot. Now, of course, Terracotta dries out incredibly quickly as well so i try to avoid it as much as possible these days especially with plants that aren't really drought tolerant because a uh, super chunky soil mix and a terracotta pot that's a disaster waiting to happen in this house cute i'm gonna be watering and fertilizing all these babes when we're done but Hey, that's nice. I love it. I have a mix right here that's not airy. It's not too chunky. It's just perlite and soil. Maybe I'll use that for this begonia. Um, so this is a newer begonia for me. I've had it for a few months. I see several new leaves. Well, a couple new leaves. A couple have died because underwatering. But that's what the roots look like. Definitely needs moved up just a little bit it's in this little like four inch pot she's losing uh, leaves here and there not too bad um because this lives in my kitchen window so i tend to keep up with the watering a little bit better because i see it every day but yeah she shouldn't be this droopy and so i want to put her in something just a little bigger so she can hold on to her water for a little bit longer but it is an absolutely gorgeous begonia. Hi guys. Okay, so we were repotting. That was a few days ago. Things happen, okay? I don't even remember at this point, but I had to stop what I was doing. I believe I got two plants repotted. These two are still sitting here and they're thirsty. So I need to get them repotted immediately and get them watered and fed. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do El Chaco. This begonia desperately she has to be done today though like for real it's a problem so i'm thinking about putting el chaco in this little pot that it's already in as a cover pot i think that'll be a good size to move up and it looks cute in that so that's what i'm gonna do i think i really like y'all trying to balance i'm gonna reuse this soil there's not much, but there's like a beads in it and I like it. Trying to balance working night shift, mind you, and then coming home, going to bed. My husband gets up, he goes to work, and then I have to get up with the kids and then do it over again that night. Granted, I'm only working like, I don't know, three to four days a week, but still. My schedule is very flexible, which I love. My work's very flexible, I should say. Um... Yeah, it's just an adjustment and then trying to get take care of my plants, not even just YouTube, just in general. 
like caring for my plants and making time for them I want to so badly that's not the problem it's just like finding the time to do it uh, and on, of course on top of that I'm trying to get back on YouTube and at least post some things here and there I'm proud of myself okay I got one video out and I got a good bit of footage for this chore video I'm getting stuff done slowly but surely and that's all that matters okay that's all I can do so my goal right now is to basically rehab all of my plants and get them back in like decent shape growing nicely healthy uh, happy before the summer ends before fall gets here because we're not out of time yet we still have a little bit of summer left so I feel like I still have time to kind of get it together um, I mean everybody's already on the mending end not everybody but a lot of my plants are and then we're working on the others so and y'all I have like almost lost this plant so many times I did lose my first one and I bought another one and it it got ate, ate up with spider mites and lost all of its leaves and came back and here we are and it's beautiful like I love this new leaf so much it's the largest one yet and um, I can't wait to see the next one when it comes out. So there's our El Chaco. Maybe. I don't know why I feel the need to tear these off, but I do. It's very thirsty. Hopefully he's a lot happier and he can grow even faster now that he's not going to be dehydrated all the time. So easy and quick. I don't know why it takes me so long to get to repotting. I am seeing some issues, so a couple of the leaves have these brown spots. Those are new, I think, over the last few days from sitting here. I'm going to remove those after I pot it up, but all in all, it's looking okay, just a little droopy. Oh, but I don't want to really use this chunky mixture for my begonia. She doesn't really need it. I don't know. I think maybe I better go up another size even because... So basically every decision that I made on this day for this begonia was the wrong one because she rotted immediately after this. It's just it's better to be safe than sorry. They dry out so fast. It's crazy. Let's see what we got. I have a couple different options. Mm. I have this one, which could also be a good fit. I don't love this pot. I've just had it forever. And I don't know. I just don't love it. I don't love the design. But that's actually kind of... I might like the pot more with that plant. Is what I'm saying. I always end up with dirt in my coffee, y'all. I don't know why I even try it. But I do. We're going with this pot right here. It was just enough soil in this. <laughs> just enough. So cute. It's driving me crazy that I can't remember the name of this begonia though. That actually is really nice. I like it, see? If you have a pot that you don't like and then you, I don't know, you find that perfect plant for it, it kind of makes you appreciate the pot a little bit more. And I've had this one forever just kind of floating around, so that's nice. I'm very eager to water these guys because I just know how thirsty they are. Y'all, <sighs> ate up with spider mites. My splendids always have mites. I cannot keep them off of this plant. But look at this. We have to do something with her because and this is a baby off of my mother plant. My mother plant is over here and she needs some assistance too. She needs a better pole. This pole isn't doing anything. These suck. I hate these kind of poles so much. So much. I'm going to cut it up for sure. We have several leaves that are done for from the mites. I mean, this just happened in the last week because it did not have all these yellow leaves last time I checked on it. Look at this. This is a mess, y'all. My Splendid used to be so big with these big, beautiful, fluffy leaves. And I miss that. I would really like to get back to that place. All right, I'm going to be cutting here. Oh, my shears. I'm not that sharp anymore. Top cutting. 
I'm just going to put these in water for now and um, cut this excess off. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely have mighty mites. That's going to grow funny. I'm just chopping it all up. Screw it. Make a bunch of little ones and then pot them up together would be the goal. This is growing weird. Okay. I'm just going to cut this all the way back is what I'm going to do and see if it wants to start over. We don't need this thing anymore. Oh God, what is that? Holy crap. Oh, I about just had a freaking heart attack. Let me get the camera. Lord have mercy. Ew. I did not see this until now. Can you even see? It's full of ants. I mean, full of ants. Like, absolutely. Full of ants. This is going in the trash. I got all the cuttings off. Um, yeah, this is going straight in the, the trash. I feel like you can't even see them that well because they're so small in the color of the medium. But they're in there everywhere. Scared me to death. Trying to figure out where to put this table. Pretty little table. That go to these ones? The cords? Okay, I think I'm gonna put this table on this little landing. This is like our, goes down to our front entryway. 
and this window gets some really nice light. I think it's a southwestern window. It's a south something. And look over, he's got a paint. We tried to put a shelf there and it didn't work. And so he had to fix, fix the wall. But I'm gonna set this up there and move some plants on it. I know it's getting dark, so we can't really see what, what the light's gonna look like, but. Is this going to be in the way? Or I could put it at the front entryway in front of that window, but I could put a tall plant on it, perhaps. Philodendron serpents. Still hanging on. Mindy. Philodendron Florida, one of them. His new sleep's a good size. He's actually doing phenomenal. Exceptionally well. Hey guys, I've, I've just been going around plucking off all the dead crispy leaves. This one got broke off by my cat, I'm assuming, who never messed with my plants until we moved in here for some reason. And now I don't know what is going on. Either that or we have a plant breaking ghost. Okay, you guys. So I do have a few plants that need chopped. Okay, this one went and lost all of her leaves and she's reverting, but it's not too late for her. Okay, and I think the Burgundy Princess is beautiful. Anyways, I am sending a package out tomorrow to Sarah because, yeah, she hasn't bought any plants in a while and I've had several things that I want to send to her and she's done a lot for me, okay? And been here for me a lot through all these crazy transitions and I just want to say thank you more or less so we're gonna chop this there's a couple pups down here but I'm gonna have to get them out and remove them and repot them and just kind of see what's going on with them and then I'm gonna have to do something with this pink princess sooner or later or maybe I'll send her a cutting off of this one with some actual pink this one's kind of reverting in places too. This one was high, high variegation. It's from Indonesia. And so, I don't know. I want to try to get it back on these little pups at least. I'm really shocked that it's reverted, but that's what lack of care will give you. We're going to chop this. And I'm just doing it on my washer because why not? And... I'm going to treat it with alcohol and stuff, and I'm going to be packaging up her package tonight to get it out by in the morning. So, 
closer. We're going to go ahead and snip her. Little snippy snippy. She's pushing out a new leaf right there. Um, if I cut it down here, that gives three nodes to work with. I might keep this and send her an actual pup or a baby off of my other pink princess. Um, I'll figure that out, but... Basically, every plant that I'm working with is getting a treatment, <laughs> regardless what I'm doing with them. It's pretty bad. Spider mites are pretty bad. Gnats are pretty bad. It's honestly embarrassing. How many times I'm sure gnats are just like zooming in front of the camera. It's awful. Is anyone else struggling with gnats right now? I've said it like a hundred times, I feel like, but it's true. They're driving me mad. Pretty. Let's take a look in here. I don't know why I grabbed this. It's not really what I meant to grab. I threw this in my terrarium. You got roots coming out the bottom. They don't look the best, unfortunately. Hopefully there's no ants in this one. Oh my goodness. Still have plenty of healthy roots there, I feel like. All right, I think I'm going to send her a pup. And then I'm going to keep these nodes and see it because, like I said, this was a really beautifully variegated, like the super dark leaf with the bright pink. Really beautiful princess. Um, so I'm going to try to re-root re re these nodes because I would really like to bring it back. And I'm going to keep this one. And then I'm probably also going to take a cutting of this pink princess, which is from a different seller. It's from the U.S., um, I'm going to cut it back and try to get some variegation back on it anyway. So I'm going to take a cutting of this one right here. Uh-oh, I lost that leaf. Oops. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of pink on this leaf right here and on this one. Okay. This little pup right here has a decent little root system, so that's good. And then we have this one, which I would probably leave on the stem, and yeah. Okay, so I forgot to show you potting up this little pink princess, but this is one of the pups. She had roots, so I just put her in this cute little planter in this window on one of my landings and look at that new leaf has a good bit of pink in it I love to see it and then I put the base of the plant back in a pot and it's in a ziploc bag currently and then I sent a pup to Sarah as well and then the top cutting of the one that's reverting is in water okay this beautiful plant is I believe it's Hoya fungi it's doing phenomenal. It has had its struggles in the past, but I told her a good while ago that I was going to send her some of this. So I think now is a good time since I'm sending out her package tomorrow. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a couple cuttings of this for her and then my album Monstera. I know that she has been wanting this plant for a long time. And so yeah, we have two a nice two-leaf top cutting for her with this nice long aerial root. It should produce a new leaf out of this stem here. At some point, we have one that's more one leaf that's more green and one that is really nicely variegated. So I feel like it's good. It's a good one. Yeah, so I'm gonna be sending this. I just have it in water for now. I'm going to be Jason's on his way home with sphagnum moss. So I'm gonna be wrapping all these guys in sphagnum moss and then 
putting them in a box to send out. Let me decide where I want to take a cutting from. This one's kind of dried up here. So I'm going to cut off the dead tip. I think this would be a good place to take a cutting. And I have a nice juicy node or a few nodes right here. She can cut it a little bit more if she wants. Um, and I want to give her plenty of room to work with for rooting. There's a cutting for her. These vines are pretty fresh and new. And when you mail Hoyas, like the growth points, the vines that are growing, typically will kind of shrivel up, dry up, and die back, and then it'll have to put out a new growth point anyway. So maybe I'll take one right here too. Let me see. Yes. There's another cutting for her. That leaf's pretty. Okay. And then hopefully this guy will take off. It's been growing really well already, but hopefully it'll grow even better. Shoot off even more growth points. Y'all, I thought I was recording, and unfortunately I was not. But I just made a moss pole for my new Philodendron Majestic. I don't really think the Joepii or the SP Columbia needs a pole yet. This one was definitely ready. Um, so, yeah, I it's still in this nursery pot sitting in this cash pot. So I just have this pole kind of behind the nursery pot for now until I up pot it and then I'll put it in the actual same pot as the plant. But look how cute. Uh, I still have to Velcro tape it just a little bit. Um, let's see. Um, we'll go right here, maybe. Yeah, like I said, I thought I was filming the whole process of making the pole, but I wasn't, so I just figured I would show you what I did. I have several plants that need poles, but I also have plants that need extensions. Like they already have one of these 24 inch poles down in them and they need an extension. And so my philodendron serpents is one of them. Should I go ahead and make an extension for my serpents? Eh. It just put off its next new leaf and it's off the pole and it is smaller. Okay, and we're back. So let's move Majestic to the side. She's done. Okay, here is my philodendron serpent. Um, I'm probably gonna have to cut this plant eventually because it's gonna get bare after it loses these two leaves from the spidey mites. Okay, so you can see immediately, I think it grew off of it. I think it was off of it when I put the pole in. It needed an extension right away. But you can see the new leaf here is quite a bit smaller. It could potentially get a little larger, but that's pretty small. Look at those pretty stems. So good, right? I'm going to accept some more moth here. I'm going to make another pole to add on to the top right here. If I can get it in there, hopefully. Hopefully I can. That's all I know. I'm just going to set it in the bowl. Moss, I'm never like centered right ever. Get this stuff in. I have a bamboo stake here that I use. Start pushing it down in, which you will see in a moment. These D shaped poles are fantastic. I have some that I made, like I didn't have any moss, so I did a little experiment with coconut core chips, uh, coconut husk chips. Uh, and I have those in a couple plants. Well, 
I, I think I used coconut chips for one, and then the other one, it has coconut chips in it. It's over there, my Florida ghost. But it's like an actual really chunky soil mix with perlite and all the things. Or maybe it's just perlite and coconut chips. I don't know, but it's doing the job so far. I haven't actually checked to see if any aerial roots have dug into it yet, but I need to do that. I'm sure that they will. I like to stuff them pretty full, pretty chunky, so I don't have to worry about the moss like sliding down the bottom or moving around. Make it really compact in there. It does take quite a lot of moss to build one of these. These are this is like two foot, a two foot pole. So my bamboo stick. Just kind of stuff it down in there. I'm not wringing the moth out too much because I would prefer not to have to water the moth hole for a while. This one over here is pretty crispy. It actually needs water. Wait, I wasn't even thinking. I'm actually going to have to leave some room down at the base to put this inside here. I wasn't even thinking about that, but we'll make it work. I think that should be good. Let's see if we can do this. Fleshy. Oh, it kind of interferes with, yikes, velcro tape, there we go. Oh gosh, this is going to be super top heavy now. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, it's so top heavy. I'm going to have to move this nursery pot into a bigger cover pot. Um... Shit. <laughs> I should have thought about this before. Beforehand. Wow. Oh. Got it stabilized for a sec. Imagine that. Yeah, I'm going to have to lean this up against a wall or something, but that is much better, and it still has some room to grow. Lovely. Hopefully that next leaf will be larger. Beautiful. Okay, that's all. I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably. Hey, guys. Okay, so I wanted to give a brief update before I end this vlog. Um, my filming started for this video, I believe, at the beginning of July. So just like a month and a half or so after we moved into this new home. So it's been about a month since I've filmed anything, maybe two or three weeks. I could be exaggerating. But I know when I left off, everything was still pretty chaotic and pretty much a mess. So I've done a lot since then. I've got a lot accomplished. So 
I just want to briefly show you a little update before yeah, I end it. So first of all, look over everything. I've been doing so many plant chores today. I got these beautiful stained glass, excuse my kids, little hanging leaves. They are so beautiful. I have three others. I'm still trying to figure out where I want them to go, but I love them so much. This is kind of how my kitchen is looking. Like I said, I got some plants sitting over here. My stove's a mess, but yeah, I got a little bit of my fall decorations going on. I got to pick up the rest of my fall decor from my mom's next weekend when we go over there for a visit. I'm also going to be in a wedding, so that's fun. But yeah, I love these little things. Beautiful. And then if we turn around into the living room, that is my disgusting ruined couch. That's next on the agenda, a new couch and living room suit in general. But, um, so you would have seen me cleaning off the stands that were setting here. They were just kind of like piled up in the corner because we didn't know what we were doing with them yet. I actually got Bendy, my kitty cat, um, this really nice, luxurious, if I do say so myself, cat tower. It's huge. I think it's like 98 inches tall. And she actually loves it, believe it or not. Loves to get up here and lay. And it's so soft. And I think it actually looks quite nice in this little corner here, if you can call it that. Um, I'm getting new decorations because I'm just so over everything that I have. But this is a nice little addition and she loves it. So that's what we ended up putting in this corner. I'm going to do something with this shelf still. It's totally bare and junked up. A shelf that's going up here that I can put fall decorations on. And then if we come into my laundry, aka plant room, I've done a lot in here. Well, Jason and myself both because he's really been helping me. So, um, look over my laundry, please. But this corner, we still have to get moved out. I am going to be actually doing a potting bench here, like a little potting area that I'm going to set up against this wall where I can just come over and I've already picked out the one that I want. I'll be getting that within the next couple of weeks. I'll definitely show you guys once I do. So I got to get this completely cleaned out, but, um, it's going to go here so I can just kind of come over and do plant chores, repot plants, whatever I need to do without having to drag out tables and all this different stuff and make a mess. I have one designated one designated area for all my plant care and it's going to be amazing. That's been my dream literally since I started collecting house plants. So I think this wall would be perfect. That's not supposed to be there. It's just kind of there for the time being. I need to move it out. I'm going to be getting rid of the stand because I do not need it. This area will be entirely cleaned out and redone for a potting area, which I'm very excited about. And then I'm gonna be getting rid of another stand. I don't know which one just yet, but I, if you can see, I have a ton of free space. Granted, I do have like 10 plants or so currently in the bathroom, like my larger plants being watered and some of my hanging plants that are usually on this. Um, they, yeah, I watered them today, so they're still in there. But I do have a lot of extra plant room, I'm just saying. <laughs> But I'm going to be finally getting the Millsbo Ikea greenhouse cabinet um, really, really soon as well. So I'm going to be taking out a shelf or two and putting that in. I got to get the lights for it and the shelving and the pegboard and all of that. But eventually that's the plan. But I'm, I've been off work for two days. I'm also off tomorrow. So I've really just been trying to get caught up on things. I've been doing a ton of plant care, watering. Ooh, look at this new leaf. I just seen that. Watering, uh, spider mite treatments, you name it. I've been doing it as well as just trying to get my house in order, but it's coming along beautifully, I have to say. And then you guys, I will insert a clip because the sun's already like past. It's getting ready to set, but I had the most beautiful rainbow. So I can show you in the future as well. I took some clips of it though, for, like my stories and stuff. And that is from this adorable little rainbow maker uh, decal, window decal. I'm definitely getting more. I wanted to get one and try it out. And for as small as it is, it's honestly amazing because it puts a rainbow all over the entire floor. It's so cute, like all around this Monstera leaf. I'm getting more for every room in the house. <laughs> and I'm probably going to get larger ones as well. But it's very cute. They're super inexpensive. And yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. 
I'm going to be hanging a couple of my other colored stained glass leaf decorations up in this window, I think. This little table is kind of just chilling here for the time being. Plants in the window. Uh, and like I said, a lot of plants are missing from this area and this little rack, this little bar, uh, because they're being watered currently. Everything is definitely coming along. Trying to, I'm working on trying to get all my laundry caught up at the moment. That's kind of how everything is coming along. Um, I just want to give a little update because things have changed. There's still so much to be done, y'all, but it's coming along. Okay, that's it. I just kind of wanted, like I said, to give a little update because things are improving. And I got to end this video because it's so long. But I'll do another one when I get the rest of my stuff and everything else kind of put up, put together when I get the rest of my furniture, like my Ikea cabinet, my potting bench, all of that. It's going to be a fun journey, so stay tuned. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for tuning in and being patient with me. I appreciate it. Bye, y'all.